This bee has to get home. How many paths does it have? The bee starts from here and it can take only one step at a time in the forward direction. So from the starting point, it can go to A or B. If it is at H, it can go to I or J. From E to F or G. It can't go backwards. So in how many ways can it reach its home at H? For example, to reach C, it can go to A to B to C or A to C or B to C. So three ways. What about A and B? For A, only one way. For B, two ways. A to B or directly to B. Okay, now how many paths are there to D? You will see that there are five paths and here they are. But the B wants to reach the cell H, which is still further away. Surely there will be a lot of ways to get there. But can you tell how many without actually writing all the paths? You might want to think about it before watching ahead. Here's the math behind this. Let's count the number of ways to reach D in a different way. To reach D, the B can come either via B or via C, no other way. Coming via B, it can take any of the two paths to reach B and then take the final step to D. Similarly, it can reach C in any of these three ways and again take the final step to D. So the total number of ways to reach D is simply the sum of ways to reach B and to reach C. That is 2 plus 3 or 5, same as before. Now, knowing that the B can reach a cell only from any of the previous two cells, how many paths do we have to E? It will be the number of ways to reach C plus the number of ways to reach D, that is 8. So to find the number of ways to reach a cell, we can simply add the number of ways to reach the previous two. So the number of paths to F will be 5 plus 8, 13. Ways to G, 21. And to the B's home H, there are 34 ways. By the way, the number of ways, that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on, is the famous Fibonacci series which keeps showing up in the strangest of places. Can you now find the number of ways to reach the last cell O 